Steel bar is the most common and widely used reinforcing material for most construction of various structures. It is considered and regarded as an excellent partner of concrete, while concrete is weak in tension, steel resists high tensile stresses, in withstanding and resisting both tension and compression forces. Comparatively, steel is approximately 10 times stronger than concrete in carrying compression load and 100 times stronger in resisting tensile stresses. Reinforcement for concrete structures can be non-coated steel, epoxy coated steel, or galvanized reinforcing bars, hot dip galvanized after fabrication and bending. Non-coated steel is normally used for those portions of structures situated above grade, and also, whenever the reinforcement is cathodically protected. Use of epoxy coated steel is commonly recommended for those portions of structures situated below grade, provided that the reinforcement is not cathodically protected. The design of reinforced concrete assumed that concrete and steel acts together in carrying load in the state of simultaneous deformation, otherwise, due to excessive load imposed upon it, steel bars might slip out from the concrete in the absence of sufficient bond. For this reason, it is necessary that the bond between concrete and the steel bars must be sufficiently strong to prevent any relative movement between the reinforcement and the surrounding concrete. Thus, steel bars were provided with surface deformation in various designs called deformed bars. The combination of concrete and steel bars have proven satisfactory performances, example, it has a negligible difference in thermal expansion coefficient making it safer from undue effects of differential thermal deformation. The concrete that surrounds the rebar is an excellent protective cover to retard steel corrosion. The strength of steel decreases when exposed to high temperature but concrete covering provides sufficient thermal insulation. A large number of steel bars is more effective in minimizing crack width than a few numbers of larger bars having the same total cross-sectional area. Requirements for structural integrity are included in the building code. Its objective is if a structure or a part of the structure is subjected to an abnormal loading condition, or if a primary supporting element sustains damage from an unanticipated event, tying the members together should result in confining the resulting damage to a relatively small area. Therefore, in order to comply with the provisions, the code requirements for achieving structural integrity in reinforced concrete construction put great emphasis or focus on the structural detailing of reinforcement.